Hello everyone, my name is Somongri and I'd like to welcome you guys all back to more Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. In this episode we are going to be playing with the first, the greatest, the smelliest, the strongest, the biggest, Bob Cooper. Aw oh, yeah, and look at that face. Look at his face. He just, he just wants to be loved. Alright, let's go to ThiefNet, see if we can buy something for Bob. We got more stuff for Carmelita, we got 600 stuff. Stuff, coins, gold. And let's buy nothing right now. Let's get into this mission with Bob because I really want to play with him. So it's time to get stronger. Let's do this. Alright. We replaced our cane with a huge bone right now. So that's pretty sweet. Ooh. We got some pure power. Do we really want to lose the weight? I suppose we could be a little bit faster and better climber then. So we'll try to lose the weight with Bob here. Bob Cooper, pretty awesome. I just love it. I wish I knew his real name. Hey, chicken. Giant bird of some sort. I keep calling it chicken, but I think it's like a dodo bird. And where are we going? This way still? Oh, yeah. So let's get stronger with Bobby. Bobby, my boy. The first Cooper ever. Oh, I love his sneak. Sneak is awesome. Let's check out his pickpocket. With the bone. The bone grabs it somehow. <laughs> and let's check out his silent takedown. Ooh, nice. Alright. Where's this mission? Oh, it's up here. Alright, here we go. Let's go, Bobby! Getting stronger. The Murray games. This should be fun. So it looks like we're going to be working out with the Murray. Not only is he awesome, he's also a trainer, apparently. So this should be really, really cool. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, Murray. We need Bob help to recover the lost components. But he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back into climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around. We'll be using your standard training exercises. Slippery slope, penguin popper, sumo slap, duck and cover, super sling, and whack a chump. Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises. But they are Murray approved, so let's get started. Murray approved. Better than Richard Simmons, I guess. Because that would have been just a shame. Just a shamble. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, let's go with Bob here. I'm excited. Let's do it. Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm going to pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. Okay. Looks like we're using the motion control here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep shifting your weight. There we go. A little bit over this way. Ooh, this is a tough one. I don't know how we're going to get back into shape in one day here. This is like... The Murray P90X here. Don't worry, they're not gonna scramble my egg. I may eat it when I'm done though, I'm pretty hungry. Eggs are good for protein. Oh yeah. Way to stay on your feet, kid. Booyah! Success! Alright, let's go to the next game. Like the Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed. And not just at the dinner table. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. All right. Home run. Oh yeah. Swing for the fences. We'll sign Bob up for the All-Star Games next year. He's an MLB All-Star here. Look at this. Home run hitter. No steroids at all. Unless you count dodo eggs. I don't know what those have in them. You should be thinking home run. Way to go, Slugger. You probably could do it all day. But the penguins would get irritable. Yes, they would. 
Yes, they would. What do we got here? To be a true warrior, you need to develop accuracy. The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. When you hit enough targets, you win. All right, let's do this. Make those penguins fly. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling Bob would really like Angry Birds. That's two. Oh yeah, three, four, one more. Come on, Penguin, it's your time to fly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great shooting, kid, but don't get cocky. That a boy, Robert. Let's keep it up. A real fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. All right, so whack a mole here, or whack a bird, whack a penguin. Here we go. Put the smack down on those clouds. There we go. This is just old school right here. Just remember to aim for the real penguin. They're gonna spit out some tickets when we're done. Be careful! These guys are tricky. So far, I got it, Murray. Hit a big penguin and I don't know how this is exercise, but we'll just go with it. Oh yeah! That's picking your punches, Joe. All right, where are we at next? These guys are just watching. Oh, here we are. Nice. During my illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength to move my opponent, no matter how big. I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. When the two of you meet, you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power. Oh, let's get him, Bob. Oversized bird. We're getting slap happy here. Yeah, Bob. That's using your strength, champ. All right, one more. This could be our toughest challenge yet. When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But like without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguins. All right. Hey, get those feet going. There we are. If you can dodge a penguin, you can dodge anything. That's true. I've heard that before. <laughs> but with a wrench. Penguins, a little bit harder to dodge. A little bit bigger. Figure out where those birds are going, then get out of the way. Woo. Aw, really? Yeah, yeah. Going, Bob. That's how you focus. Bob, you've got what it takes. You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together. Everything at once. Sort of like a triple-decker pizza. You know what you got to do. Now make the Murray proud. All right. One, two, three, ah, 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 four, and five. The Count and the Murray are proud. All right, we got to dodge. Ow! Oh, this way. Ooh. Gotta push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Walk along the icy edge. But don't look down, just keep your head and you'll be finished. Gotta push it to the limit. Gotta get in shape to steal your cane. You'll be in shape and beat the Grizz. 
You'll make them run like a cub with shame. You gotta push it to the limit. Let's go, Bob. Push it to the limit. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. But you know what? I got another one, and this one's for Bob. It's the eye of the Cooper. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of his rival. Bob will beat down the Grizz and skin him into a bearskin rug. And then ask Carmelita to come over and hang out on his new bearskin rug next to the fire. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> I think Sly might have something to say about that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. You gotta take all that training and put it to use. All right, here we go. Push him out. Push him out. He's got nothing, Bob. You're the man. Slap him up. Get slap happy. Yeah, Bob. Here we go. Slap him. Aw, oh, yeah. There we go. One. Two. Three. And four. Nice. All right, get him. Get him. Come on. Get this oversized penguin. He should be losing weight as well. Come on, Bobby. You got this. Come on, Bobby. Fight. Fight, Bobby. Fight. Come on. What good is a subway diet if you're not going to fight? Come on, Bob. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Really, Bob? You're going to fail at one push-up after we just owned a four-ton penguin? Come on. There we go. That's better. Keep it up, Bobby. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get a little bit too strong for my britches here. Oh, we cracked the egg. You gotta take all that training and put it to use. Nice. Nice. Stay in the zone, Bob. All right, balance it up, Bob. Balance it up, Bob. This is steady. You got this. You got this. You got this, Bob. You got. Whoa. You got this. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Yes! Now you're ready, kid. Now you're ready. Booyah, Bob. In shape and ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, it looks like we got the Marie. Remember to leave a comment, leave a rating, and subscribe for more Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Have a great day, everyone.